I was experimenting a little bit and I find a way to make quite versatile carbon tools, let me say. So I will use this graphite powder. It looks like this. Really fine graphite powder. This is this is used for lubrication of bearings and things like that. Dry lubrication basically. And water silicate. This percentage. Well, the thing is pretty easy. You basically dump a bunch of graphite into some cup. And let's say a little bit more. And then slowly add water silicate to the powder. And mix. Perfect. I like it to be a little bit tixotropic. Now this will be a tricky part. We need to transfer this non-flowing fluid into the into some kind of container when it can be pushed out. If I wasn't stupid, I probably can I probably could use some syringe. And now we can use some plastic piece to transfer this. Okay. And I'm going to make nasty looking electrode for electrolysis here. So I will use this screw Well, not very straight one, is it? Now if you had any problem in this step, ask your grandma, she will help you Try to straighten this up, hopefully not ruined it. Yeah, okay, I'm not touching this thing. After some slow drying it looks like this. It is good idea to slowly ramp up the temperature until all water is gone, otherwise the vapor will deform the shape of the tool. Then by heat treating the tool it will become insoluble in water. According to the article that I have read, the required temperature seems to be about 400 degrees Celsius. Depending on the carbon content, this tool is pretty conductive, so it can be heated by passing some current through it. Result is not very hard and brittle, but it can withstand some pressure. It has quite perfect machinability. It actually totally behaves as a rod of the pencil. Ok, so here are some close-up shots of cuts and shapes and whatever. Also you can see that I screwed up my drying stage so it's inflated. I have mentioned that this will be electrode for electrolysis. And this will withstand alkaline solutions and mildly acidic solutions also. Adding some sand into mixture will probably improve chemical resistance. However, the roasting temperature would probably need to exceed 1500 degrees Celsius. And as you can see, it's basically a superconductor. Okay, so I hope that was at least somewhat useful, and in the next episode we will be making Bitcoin out of breadcrumbs.